So guys, I'm back. I got another video for you. You're gonna like, you're gonna love it for holidays. You might see this after Thanksgiving because I'm slow, I'm late. I don't never do stuff like I'm supposed to. But anyway, it's smelling good. Your house is gonna smell like Christmas because we're making cry pot, one pot, okay? One pot, no mess, one cleanup, one time, one pot, crock pot, apple strudel. Mmm. It's delicious. It's tasty. It's 10 ingredients or less. I added like two or three more because I'm just extra. But if you need a good, good dessert to take to the family this year, house, I got you. They're going to be like, who made this? And all you got to do is buy some ice cream because you know this is in my store made, store bought, all love from you. And you can always take my recipes and claim them as yourself. And you know what's even better? You can put famous crock pot apple strudel because you know if it's yours and it tastes good and everybody wants the recipe it's famous now <laughs> you feel me so come on join me let's get in the kitchen let's go hey guys welcome back today we're going to be doing a holiday crock pot cooking special so holidays is coming up by the time you see this it's probably going to be thanksgiving day or after i don't know but I'm just going to bring this to you if you are responsible for bringing the dessert and you are not the cooker of the family but you got to bring a dessert. So I'm going to show you something simple easy. It's only 10 ingredients. I added two more extra ingredients but who cares. It's still simple. It's still good. So let's get into it. What you're going to need is about five to six Granny Smith apples. Them are the green apples. I love Granny Smith apples. Let me show you one of them so you can know what I'm talking about. I think they're tart, they have a crisp to them. These are the Granny Smith apples. You can buy them at the store. They have the regular size ones and then the jumbo. I have had three big jumbo ones and two regular size ones. But if you get the regular size, you need six of them, you get the jumbo, I would get like three to four, depending on how much you want to make. Then you're going to need your three fourth cups of rolly oats or oatmeal. I have the quick oatmeal right here. You can use the name brand or the generic version. It is all up to you. You need a stick of butter. I will tell you the measurements directly at the bottom of the description box so you know how much you need. You're going to need sugar. You're going to need flour. You're going to need salt. You're going to need packed brown sugar. I did not use dark brown sugar. I used light brown sugar because I don't want to use dark brown sugar because it's going to be cooking in the crock pot. And as you know, brown sugar cooks, it caramelizes and it gets darker as it cooks. So you need light brown sugar for this recipe and you need to pack it in there. Meaning it's not the same as granulated sugar. Like you pour and it measure up. You have to pack it in there to make sure you have the precise measurements. Also on top of that, you're going to need a lemon. You can need a half a lemon or you can get lemon juice because you're only going to need two tablespoons of lemon juice. Um, you're going to need some type of spray. So you can spray your crock pot so it does not stick. I have canola spray. And you know it's from Myers because that's one of my top stores. I have cinnamon. You're going to need cinnamon as well. And then McCormick has this good morning breakfast seasoning. It's brown sugar vanilla. It is the bomb when you put it in your breakfast oatmeal or your breakfast bagels. Sprinkle this on there. It's the bomb. I'm going to put a little bit of that in there as well. And I also have some vanilla. So, let's get to it. It's nothing but to do it. Um, I have already queued my apples up before I started. And um, they turn a little brown because, you know, once you cut them up, they turn brown. But this is how the apple look. I'm going to actually go ahead and cut this up for you so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to move this bowl on the side right there and back here. Focus, focus. I'm going to cut up this apple. You're going to need a half the apple as such and then you're going to need to cut it up in about a inch cube and make sure you cord the middle because the middle always has the cord in it. So you just want to cut that out and throw it. And then from there just dice it, baby. Dice it. This process does not take more than about two to three minutes. It really didn't take me that long. So that's why I did it off camera. And I believe everybody knows how to dice an apple. But if you don't, I'm here. This is simple, easy, semi-homemade, semi-store-bought. And I do not like to be in the kitchen all day. So, 
Once again, if you're responsible for a Thanksgiving dessert, bam. This is something that they will eat. And all you got to do is bring the ice cream. You're going to be unique. You're going to be different this time. I'm like, who told her to bring that? I did. So, <clears throat> let's get to making the filling for the apples. <coughs> Excuse me, got a little cough. So, let's get to making the filling for the apples. It does not take that much to do this. So, one, I have a fourth cup. I'm sorry, fourth quart crock pot right here. This serves about, I want to get a good view. A fourth quart crock pot. This serves five to six people, so that's all we need. Um, because it's going to be a lot of different desserts people are going to have. So one thing, first, we're going to spray. Spread, or you can use your butter and you can wipe this side with some butter. But I'm just going to spray. I think it's better just to spray it. Give it a little spray. I'm going to be showing you everything that I put in the bowl right here so you can see as a visual and then I'm going to transfer it over to the crock pot because I'm going to put it in the crock pot to cook okay so we're going to spray this first starting off you have your five to six apples into your bowl you're going to add your third cup of granulated sugar because this is the filling I actually already measured this out so we're just going to sprinkle it over just go ahead and sprinkle it over your I'm sorry, you're going to go ahead and just sprinkle this over your um, apples because I already measured it out for you. Okay. Don't leave nothing behind. Nothing behind. I'm going to get like, it's nothing else in here. It was. It was. I want to let you know that. Then from there, you're going to put two tablespoons of all purpose flour. So I'm getting my tablespoon out. And I'm going to show y'all what's the difference between a tablespoon and a teaspoon. I think people get confused. And you can't be confusing if you're not a baker. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> this is a teaspoon. I don't know if you can see it or not. It says it on there. Teaspoon. Maybe I have to turn it this way. It says it on there and it's actually smaller. And then the tablespoon it's bigger you can tell the difference in the size totally different and at the end of the measures it actually tells you tablespoon has a T and a big B so it's capitalized the TB and then a teaspoon it has TSP it's different so we need a tablespoon guys of flour remember I already measured out the flour in here so we don't have to um, go ahead and re-dig it out so you're gonna dig it out of the flour that you measured earlier. And what you're going to do, again, this is a pat down method. method, And you're just going to scrape the top off. I'm sorry. And you're going to sprinkle that flour in it. And you need two of them. The rest of this flour we're going to use for our topping. So you don't have to worry about re-measuring that flour again because we put it all in one. So when you get done with that, you're going to put a teaspoon of cinnamon and you need one I'm looking for the teaspoon y'all you're gonna put a teaspoon remember that's that little one I was telling you about a cinnamon ground cinnamon so let's go ahead and add that in here and if you like cinnamon more than others or all spice because y'all see that I really didn't get that <laughs> I really didn't get that in the bowl we're gonna go ahead and add that in here sprinkle it over and remember I was telling you about that good morning breakfast sprinkle. It has brown sugar and vanilla in there. <coughs> Excuse me. This right here, I'm going to add a teaspoon of that as well. And I think I'm going to scoop this out. Because me and measuring today, it's not all up to par. And with the sweets, I don't really measure it really well. Because you're supposed to pack it in there and then make sure... You you measure the top or top it off. I didn't do that. So, guys, it's okay. You want a little sweet one? Everybody go, ooh, who made this? It's good. And then you can turn your back and be like, uh, me. So then they be asking for the recipe. And then you just hear it and go in here and get the recipe. Because it's yours. What's mine is yours. Doesn't even matter. So, next, we're going to add this lemon. So, remember that cutting board? 
and that knife we had earlier, just go ahead, roll the lemon a little bit, and then you want to half the lemon. You want to get your tablespoon out, back again, and just squeeze a little bit of that lemon juice in there. You do not want to put the seed in here, I'm going to tell you that now. And you actually do want to measure this out right, because too much will make it bitter. You don't want it bitter. The lemon has acid in it, so it's going to break up the apples while they're cooking in the crock pot to get a little soft tender so it won't be so hard. But you don't want to overdo it because you didn't, then you get a bitter taste. And then everybody be like, who made that? Don't come to my recipe talking about, I got it from here. So, fill this up. Sprinkle it in there, baby. Get it done. Sprinkle it in there. Now all you want to do, toss and turn and mix. Toss and turn and mix. Alright, toss and turn and mix. It smells so good, especially with that um, McCormick breakfast. It smells like vanilla is in here. And it smells delicious. So let me move this out the way so I can show y'all what I'm actually doing. So we're going to mix it up. Get everything coated. Get all that goodness in there. That lemon juice is going to help be a binder. So that the seasonings that we put on here is going to bind with the apples. And then it gets this little mixture in there. And yeah, I know my favorite thing. If it doesn't smell like Christmas, I don't know what's going on in your kitchen. It smells like Christmas. I'm not going to start singing because you know when stuff is good, you get to sing it. I'm not going to do it today. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to hurt y'all. I'm not going to put the hurting on y'all and sing today. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep continuing to mix this up until everything is coated. I love the smell of vanilla. So, you know, a good baker cooks from the heart. And they do not need to measure. I'm going to do a drip drop of this vanilla in here. Okay, so we're going to stir this up. I told y'all I wasn't going to put the hurting on y'all's sink. I'm going to stir this up. <clears throat> Alright, so I think I got everything coated in here. It is smelling delicious. It smells like Christmas. Alright, so scoop this back because we got everything mixed up. I'm going to give y'all a final look. If yours is not looking like this, you went somewhere wrong. You need to rewind, rewind, and go back and look at this video again. Because everything that I told you to do should have your stuff coming out looking like this. So move that to the back. Remember that crop pot that we sprayed with the canola oil, the vegetable oil, the peanut oil, whatever oil that you use in your house? I would provide you to use extra, extra olive oil. Yeah, that's what I'm extra olive oil because that gives it a different taste. <clears throat> we want that buttery taste that, ooh, it's Christmas going on around here. Holiday spirit. That's the butter we want. Holiday spirit. So now we're going to take this mixture that we did earlier. We're going to give y'all a nice little close up. And we're going to put it in this crock pot. And I'm telling you, you make sure you get every little bit of this out and you put it in the crock pot. I don't really talk like that, y'all, but I'm just saying. You know, when you're cooking and stuff is really good, you do the most. So, make sure you put every drip drop, I mean every drip drop, in this crock pot. That's how you need a spatula. All good bakers have a spatula. This is a spatula, if you don't know. All good bakers have a spatula. Because the spatula gets everything. I mean, everything got your bow. Alright, so take that, put it in your crock pot. You just want to make sure it's evenly distributed in the crock pot. Oh, it's smelling delicious. And once again, evenly distributed in the crock pot. Put it in there. Now what I'm going to do is set this crock pot aside and we're going to start on that topping. That topping, that streusel. So remember, this is an apple crock pot streusel. We're going to get started on that. So sit this aside. I no longer need my mixing bowl. Now I need my topping bow. So, for the topping, for this apple crock pot streusel, we're going to need that packed brown sugar that I was telling you about. That's right here. 
We're going to add that to our bow. We're going to add the remaining of that flour. Remember earlier? Add the remaining of the flour. Be gentle because flour makes a mess. Okay? Flour makes a mess. On top of that, you are going to add the 3 4 cups of rolling oats. Alright. Put them in there in order. You're going to need your 1 tablespoon of ground cinnamon. And we're going to do 1 tablespoon of that breakfast morning. I got to find my tablespoon. Where could that possibly be? Guess what? I'm going to do a teaspoon of each. Because I did overdo the cinnamon in my apples. And I don't want people to be like, what in the world is going on? So, teaspoon. Little one, y'all. Teaspoon. Once I can get that in there. <clears throat> Sprinkle that on top. And then I'm going to do a teaspoon of the breakfast morning stuff. I don't know all stores sell that, but my Myers, this is not sponsored by Myers if you want to, I am here for you. They sell it and it is delicious. We're going to mix this up really, really good. Mix it up. Oh, I keep telling y'all I'm not going to put the hurting on y'all's sing, but this stuff smells so freaking delicious. Now, you have to make sure you mix it up really, really good because you have that packed brown sugar at the bottom and you want to make sure it's all through the whole mixture, okay? Now, don't get crazy and mix it out the bowl like I just did because that's what happens when stuff, when you're baking from the heart and it smells delicious. Alright, so I think I have this mixed up really, really well. Now, the last and the most important ingredient. <clears throat> I have salted butter. You can use unsalted butter, but I'm going to use salted butter because I didn't add any salt to the apples and I have it pretty sweet. We're going to add a pinch of salt into this streusel mix, but also I wanted to make sure that it's not over sweet and we have the salted butter. You need four tablespoons of Salted butter. I think four teaspoons. I'm sorry, four teaspoons of salted butter. I had to look on the back of this. Now, if you get the butter like this, or if you get the butter in a container, um, I can't really help you with the container because you have to go ahead and you got to get your measuring cups. But if you get the butter like this, it's already packaged with the label on the back of it. It has tablespoon at the bottom and it has teaspoons up top. See, everything is working out for these people that don't know how to bake. So we need eight teaspoons, okay? eight teaspoons so let's cut that up and we're actually going to mix it in here and then we're going to put it on top put it in the crock pot and then we're going to come back and check this out so let me get to doing what i do best let's pull that handy dandy chopping board out and it has a labeled on here so i'm gonna count one two three four five six seven eight and i'm gonna cut right there i don't need no more I don't need any more butter. And then from here, the butter was frozen. So you want it not to be room temperature. You want it to be like it's been in the refrigerator uh, or it has been frozen. Either way. Because you're going to actually keep mixing this butter into the streusel or the topping mix. Mix it up. I cut it up in little bitty cubes of butter I cut the butter up in little bit of cubes simply just so that I can put it in this bowl because I should have got a bigger bowl but I didn't so oh well that's me and so we're gonna keep mixing this up y'all then the next thing you want to do once you get the butter incorporated and mixed in here I think in here we're going to bring this crock pot bag with them apples that have been layered in here even distributed we're going to sprinkle 
Oh, and what I forgot to tell you, I add that salt in there. Mix it up one more time. Forgot to add this out. Baker air. What? It wouldn't hurt anything. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. We could add the salt at the end of the recipe. All right. So mix this up really, really good. And the next thing we're gonna do is just sprinkle this on top. Okay, so we're going to sprinkle this on top really good. So, <clears throat> you're just going to pat this down. This is going to make a nice crust on top. How do I use my spatula, y'all? Because what did I say earlier? A good baker always has a spatula. <laughs> so, we're just going to form... A crust on top as this bait and we're gonna pack this down because one these apples are gonna make their own juices which is gonna rise and cook and get tender and then the top of this spruce was gonna get crunchy and flaky all at the same time putting it in here you're patting it out gently lightly not compressing it down but gently lightly putting it in here you're gonna put a paper towel on top you're gonna put your top on top and you're gonna sit it in your crock pot so let's go ahead and put this in the crock pot I have had had the crock pot cooking for or had it on warm if you have it on warm it takes about two and a half to three hours to cook this if you have it on high it takes an hour and a half to cook it. I'm gonna put it on warm because I have a bunch of stuff to do once this is done I'm gonna show you the final result I'm gonna take a picture I'm gonna put it on here and you know we always have to take a little bit a sample to taste it and then from there I will let you know if your house gonna smell like Christmas y'all people folks ladies and gentlemen I'm about to reveal what's been going on in this lovely four quart crop pot okay so I think it been I don't have my phone with me sorry but I think it been like um an hour and a half maybe and I actually cooked it on high because I need to get to get to get going so um, I put it on high and I told you if you cook it on high it's gonna cook for an hour and a half maybe two depending if you cook it on low it's two and a half to three um I'm about to tell you the reason why I told you about this napkin I don't know if you can tell or not by the end of the napkin and what's going on but the napkin is soaking Okay, napkin is wet. It's soaking out. So it's a little damp. That's the reason why I told you not, not to do the not do. And I'm going to bring y'all into the food. Do y'all see that? It's beautiful. So, um, you can see the edges of the caramelization of the brown sugar. You can see on top it's getting where we need it to be. It's looking delicious. I hope I got y'all angle right. It's looking delicious. It smells like an apple pie on a Sunday morning before church time okay so what I'm about to do is take off this dip napkin that I told you about the dip napkin I told you about take it off I'm gonna let this cook so now we can let it simmer and then I'm gonna let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes then I'm gonna take it out and then I'm gonna have to go ahead and put my fork in it Yeah, we are back. Look at this. Look at that. That is looking delicious. I am running out of time. Normally, I cut it, put it on a plate, taste it. I, I got my fork. And I'm just going to dig on this side right here. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to dig on it. I cut it off too. And I'm going to dig on the side. Look at that, y'all. It is golden brown. It smells good. It's delicious. I'm going to taste it. Mm. It passed the test. It's good. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Okay. So. Oh, about to burn myself. Final results. It tastes good. It's the bomb. It smells like 
a warm apple pie on a Sunday morning like I told y'all I'm going to do right now. Pack this up. Hit the road. Till next time, subscribe, like, share, comment, join in, be a part of the crew, be a part of the first time cooking crew, you know. If it's your first time, you're not a really good cook, you got married, you want to learn some skills and techniques, you're single, you're on your own, or you just booed up and you're trying to show out, hit this channel, like. I mean, I got your back. Your girl got your back. Indulge with dimples, I got your back. Until next time.